All right, guys, 2009 Hyundai Santa Fe. Uh, brakes have been grinding here for the last day or two. So went on Rock Auto, got new rotors and some new brake pads for the front. So let's get started. Okay, we got two 14 millimeter bolts uh, right here and one on the bottom. So we'll go ahead and get those out. All right, go ahead and get the pads out. So this outside one's got a little bit left. And the inside one is a goner and this, this metal right here. So that's what's making the, the grinding noise. Okay, so we'll get this caliper tied up and we'll go ahead and get this bracket off and clean that up. These gear ties are pretty handy for this. I'll throw a link in the description. Okay, then we got two 17 millimeter bolts, so we'll get those off. Okay, got the bracket off and the pads I got came with new hardware so we'll take this old stuff off and then we're going to want to take a wire wheel and clean up this rust so that new hardware fits in there good and then these pins should go in and out freely uh, this one's a little bit better than this one so this rubber should pull back like that and you can pull this pin out and uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up and try to clean up this bore and I'll put in some fresh grease too um, and then that should be good to go but I'll go ahead and get this cleaned up. Okay, got the pins all greased up and cleaned up, so they move in nice. And uh, clean up this area too. And so you're going to want to put uh, some grease where this hardware goes, so kind of keep down on the corrosion. Okay, got the new hardware and pads installed in the bracket. So let's go ahead and get this rotor off. We got a couple of Phillips head screws we got to remove. All right, so probably the best tool for a job like this is a impact screwdriver.
there's where it was metal on metal. And being in a salt state, I mean, these are like, what, five years old. It's really not worth reusing them. Rotors are pretty cheap. Okay, we got some corrosion here on the hub, so we'll take a wire wheel and clean this up. And we'll hit this surface with some fluid film. Okay, so here's the part numbers I got here. This is for the rotor. And these are the brake pads. So we'll get this out. Usually there's an oil coating on these rotors to so get that cleaned up. Too bad. All right, so these screws that hold this rotor on were in pretty tough shape, and I don't have any replacements, so I'm gonna elect not to put them in. Um, the lug nuts hold this on anyway. All right, we'll go ahead and put the bracket with the pads back on. Okay, two 70 millimeter bolts are in. And up next, um, put this caliper back on. But these pistons are going to be out too far, so they're not going to fit over your new pads. So I'll pop the hood and take the cap off the, the master cylinder, and I'll use a clamp to push these pistons back in. Okay, so I had these pads uh, switched around. The pad with the sensor goes on the inside. Okay, so these pistons are compressed enough where they'll fit over. And we'll put the two 14 millimeter bolts in. Okay, I snugged up the lug nuts. And then I put it back down on the ground and we'll go ahead and torque these to 80 foot pounds. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and do the other side. I'm not going to film that. Um, basically the same thing. Uh, but make sure you put your master cylinder cap back on and you're going to pump the brakes um, before you take it out of park make sure you got pressure built back up from you know putting those pistons back in all right that'll do it for this one thanks for watching see you in the next one